Welcome to Homesick. This is an exploration and puzzle-focused game made by Lucky Paws. It had a Kickstarter a while ago, which I backed because it looked really interesting, and just recently it came out, so I'm really excited to check out what's become of it. It looks really beautiful. As always, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, I'll have a bunch of links in the description for you to check it out. Let's begin. I wasn't kidding when I said this game is beautiful. <laughs> God, is it good looking. And the music is wonderful too. Really melancholy though. Very, very depressing. Looks like I've just woken up into some sort of a... like, dead nightmare scape. Everything's gray and old and looks like it's been... unmaintained for 50 years. And this just blew in. Huh. Half of it's missing. So I've only played it for a couple minutes so far. Just pretty much this, this one room here is all I've looked at. So this is almost entirely blind. And it's extra blind because I'm blinded by the incredible bright light coming from... streaming in from these doorways. I was gonna say windows, but I guess the windows are broken now. Yeah, you can't go into the light for some reason. It's an invisible wall. That has to mean something. The fact that I can't go through there. Yeah, and I notice there's various notes around, but they're completely unreadable. Just a bunch of nonsense. Everything's dead. This is so depressing. It's so well done, but it's so depressing. I can even read a bunch of these books. Well, eventually. Looks like the ones that are brighter are kind of readable. Ooh. It's one of the only things with color in here. It's gotta hold some sort of a special meaning to me, if it's one of the only things with color. So there's the painting, the drawing had color, and also these plants. The actual flowers themselves seem to be... dead? I don't know if they're dead or... yeah, I think they're dead. But the leaves are at least green. That's something. There's some life here. Big surprise, no water. <gasps> and the toilet isn't flushable. What kind of an exploration game doesn't have a flushable toilet? I'm disappointed. <gasps> Whoa! Water. So something's coming out. It's not much, but it's something. Well, 
if I put something under there long enough, I suppose it would fill up. Everything's so silent, too. Like, I don't even have footsteps. You can't even hear my footsteps. Right, opening these things doesn't make any noise. It's very dreamlike. It doesn't feel real. It feels very odd. Look at the dust particles in the air. Hmm. I'm guessing I need that. But it looks like I need something to break the glass with. I know, I need another fire axe to break the glass to get the fire axe. Or maybe, I just open it. Okay, that works too. I like my idea better though. Too heavy? I'm just gonna keep trying to pick it up just so I can hear a moan. These doors look so old, I bet chopping them down to the fire axe probably wouldn't be that hard. It's alright. If I do a couple push-ups, I'm sure I'll be strong enough to lift that fire axe one day. Dream big. It's a picture of somebody. Looks like a woman. Can't pick it up though, I can't see it any closer. Yeah, there's no point in reading any notes. Not right now. Once again, too bright, I can't go out there. something hidden behind the door, I suppose.
Looks like we're in some sort of a large apartment block. A little bit more green. Hello. Life. Feels like I'm a ghost. Like I'm just floating around. Oh, hello. Oh, it looks like it's, like, bent and broken. At least the key that's in this lock. The other one looks fine. Bend it back and forth until it breaks. There we go. Perhaps that fits this lock. Now I just need to, have to figure out how to switch between items on the controller. There we go. I think I saw something in a video for this game about, like, getting water in the bucket and throwing it on the plants. So I should probably do that, but let's see what's this way first. Oh, I can't even continue. It's too bright. God, this is depressing. It's really good. Like, the atmosphere and the feeling of everything, but it's really depressing. Damn, scooped up that water really well. Good job, Bucket. Yeah, I think I need to water the flowers back at the beginning room. There's some color. Beautiful. Well, now the blue flowers of this picture have been recreated. What now, though? Did that actually do anything, other than make the room beautiful? I still can't go outside. Guess I can't fill it up even with that little drip. <sighs> oh, I think he wants to sleep. Oh yeah, I think if you sleep it actually saves the game. Oh. Maybe things will be different tomorrow? When he wakes up? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's different. Oh, Jesus. I think I need to run. Is it chasing me? Should I run? I feel like I need to keep moving or it's gonna... Yeah, I think it slows me down. Let's keep going. I think it's trying to grab onto me, whatever this stuff is. I don't think I can stop.
that was a nightmare, I guess. And this isn't a nightmare? This feels like a nightmare. Still got my picture. Still got my bucket. I don't suppose I can read notes now? Nah. Hmm. Oh. The axe in my dream wasn't actually a dream. I actually took it? Where did it go? I don't suppose this door is open now, is it? No. I think I saw another case for the axe, but it didn't actually have an axe in it, but maybe it's switched places now? Oh wait, the door. Oh right, I looped around and then opened. That's the door I knocked down in the dream. Well then. probably shouldn't be playing a depressing game right now. <laughs> I just finished watching a TV show and it made me really sad. Some more dead plants? I wonder if the bucket will be like my main, my main thing. Am I in a grand quest for water to beautify this place? Oh. Looks like pieces of a bridge being constructed. Looks like a rail car that's gone into the water. Some sort of an accident, maybe? And now it needs a code. Four digit code, huh? That says six on it. Don't know if that means anything. Um, okay, actually, this picture doesn't have any numbers on it whatsoever, but the other one did. It had, like, a, a date. Let's see how many digits it was. Well, it's more than four. That's five. But I could try 2573. Whoops. Seventy three or five seven three eight. Well, I give up. That's never opening. So this allows me to access the other end of the hallway here. The one that I couldn't get through because of the light. Oh look, the flowers here are already blue. Pretty. Hmm. 
This music is lovely. Again, depressing, but really lovely. Ooh. There's something there that's obviously numbers. A part that I can actually read. Zero, zero, and then number, number. So is it telling me the first two numbers are zero? And the other two I have to still find? That also says six. So the fact that that says six I don't think means anything. Oh, this one has a lock too. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna actually read the notes then, because if it sounds like it seems like they might have numbers in them that I can read, even if most of it's indecipherable. Probably can't go down this hallway either. I'm guessing. Nope. Hmm. Ooh. Look at that on the right side of the paper, the extreme right. Pound sign 7461. That's got to be one of the codes, right? And there's also a 48 on the top left. I'm guessing that's like issue 48. I don't know if that might be the other numbers after the 00. zero. Maybe 0048. And then the other one is 7461. 7461. Let's try that right now on both. <laughs> Alright, let's try 0048, was it? I wish there was a faster way to do this. This is really slow. What if I do it with the mouse? Is it any faster? Nope. Was it actually 4-8? I should probably make sure of that. No, it was 4-8. Alright, let's try 7-4-6-1 on the other one. My APM. Really? I would have expected that to be the password to one of them. I'm really surprised. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I should probably actually write that down. Seven, four... Newspaper... Issue 48. And then also we have 0, 0, number sign, number sign. Okay, there we go. Ooh. More factories. Lots of industrial pictures. Factories, boats, construction. Oh, maybe it's password to this one. That would be very plausible, because it was actually found in this filing cabinet. 7461. What do you bet this is right? Are you kidding me? Alright, this game is bugged. I want a refund. It's broken. These puzzles are too hard. Nerf, please. Oh my god. Oh wait, this one doesn't even need a password. Oh! Well then. Is there anything I can do behind this thing? Was it hiding something? I don't think so. Hmm. 
Hmm. Any more hidden numbers? Well, this one seems to be issue 171. I'll write that down. 171. And that seems to be it. There's some numbers in here. A bunch of prices. 8,000, 17,000, 12,000, 36, 146. 10%. 15%. Mm, nothing that I think would be a password, though. Issue 58. I doubt the issue numbers mean anything, but just in case, I'll write them down. Alright, hidden numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see any. Alright. Once again, 7461. Let's try this. can't fit in there. Can't I push this thing over or something? Weakling. The other end of the hallway? Mm hmm. I think that leaves one place left to go. This way. I don't think this is going to open either. I can see out the blinds a little bit. What am I seeing? It's another room, a very, very large room. Did I go this way yet? Oh, this is the other, yeah, other end of the hallway. Um, I do believe that means I'm stuck. So I've tried 7461 on every filing cabinet, and it doesn't work on any of them. It seems like I need more water. Oh, whoa. Am I just sitting down? Cool. Hey, I'll never say no to being able to sit down in a game and just appreciate the beauty of the environment. I wonder if the water has perhaps come back. Do you think maybe enough has accumulated in the bathtub again that I could get more? Let's try it.
Nope. Now I wonder if I've missed any numbers in any of these other notes that I've been ignoring. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna explore around a bit, and when I find something, I will be right back. Ah, here we go. In one of the previous rooms, I thought there might be something hidden behind the door. And in that case, there wasn't. But in this case, there is. So this is the end of the hallway full of all these filing cabinets. And in here, if you close the door behind you, there's something on the wall. Something that has a lot of four-digit codes. Hmm. Alright. O O O O O O one four O O one one O O nineteen eight two nine four and O O five three. This is probably going to take a while. <laughs> Gotta try them all. Let's let's do that one last. <sighs> okay. Zero zero zero. Oh my god! I wish this was faster. Is there no way to make this faster? There isn't. And you can't go backwards. Alright, zero, zero, one, four. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero zero one nine. Was that one of the things I have written down? Oh, it is, but my handwriting's crappy, so it doesn't look like a nine, it looks like a four. There we go. Cool. Is that... Is that an oil well? Like an oil drilling platform thing, and it's on fire? Alright, so I'm going to assume the same password is not going to be used for multiple things. So let's cross off 0019. Start back with 000. 0000, that is. Alright, so it makes a click when it's done, so I don't need to keep checking. So, 14. 11. Zero, zero, 0053. Bingo. Let's cross that one off the list. There we go. Oh, damn. That's been completely flooded. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That must have been what that rail car looking thing was. I guess it just flooded. Explains why I was in the water. Oh my god. This one's number 27. Could be important. None of these have any numbers on them, right? No. 27. On picture, I'm writing that down just in case. I'm gonna have so many numbers written down by the end of this game. Most of them probably irrelevant. Alright, there's only four left. Check. Let's 
try 1-4. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Cross that one off. I don't even know what the heck I'm looking at other than massive destruction. And is that a number? 829? What's the first thing though? Is that an N? Number 829? Is that a 9? It's hard to tell. Wrote it down anyway. Alright, now with the final one. I feel like if I open this one, this thing is going to fall over like this one did, and maybe open up the pathway so I can get inside there. Three to try. Start with zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero seems like a terrible password. Let's try one four. Cross that one off, so it leaves us with a zero 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 and eight two nine four. Is it gonna fall? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't even know what this thing is or what I can do with it. Seriously, what the heck is this thing? Is it a broken tool? Is it missing an attachment? Or is this the tool? And if so, then what's the point of it? It's a long stick with a couple of fork things coming out of it. Alright, I don't think there's any point in writing down the issue number, so I'm going to stop doing that. Um, don't see any hidden numbers. So I guess the point of coming in here was just to get that tool. But yeah, what do I do with it? Looks like I'm meant to reach something with it, but reach what? I haven't been looking up very much. Maybe there's something that was... was out of reach? Oh. Damn, that's some serious water damage. Look at how much that's... coming down. Looks like it's about to break. Can I poke it with the tool? Oh! I can squeeze it with the tool, and I'm guessing that means I can put the bucket down here. There we go. Squeeze that water blister thing. That's kind of gross. Can I squeeze this one just for funsies? Nope. Let's go do some gardening. I need to rest here once again, and I'll probably fall asleep and wake up in the nightmare world. Mm-hmm. So where do I need to open this time? Uh, I guess not that way.
Or that way. Do I have to go back here? Oh, it's gonna be this door. Where I originally found the axe? Oh, no, never mind. Break the glass! It doesn't work. I think I missed something back there. I think you're just supposed to follow the lights. Right? So, the lights go this way. And then they just end. Uh, I can't see anything. Where in the heck am I? Holy crap, it's dark. Jesus. It looks like I can go down there, though. Am I supposed to? Mm, no, I don't think I am. I don't get it. It seems like that's where the light lights are leading me. That's not where I'm supposed to go. This is also too dark. I can't go this way right Yeah, Just an invisible wall. Really seems like I'm supposed to go the other way. This is where I knocked down before, which is also a wall I can't go through. I don't get it. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to go in here. Seriously, what am I missing? This is truly a nightmare sequence, but not exactly in the way they intended. My silent axe of chopping is ineffective. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut here and I'll be back when I find something. Ah, here we go. It seems you have to backtrack all the way back to the starting room and find out that the sign on your door, this one right here, is no longer indecipherable. For some reason in the nightmare world you can actually read it. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that I had to backtrack, because it seemed like the lights were leading me forwards, but instead I had to go back. Um, that's kind of annoying, especially because it's kind of hard to slow down and look at the environment when if you slow down, you die, because you're being chased by black magical goo. But anyway, whatever. Found it. Leave the whole lights on, management. Alright, so I'm guessing that means break them. Or something. Oh god, okay, I died. That actually might be a good thing, because it might be the other lights that need to be broken. Go to sleep. Yeah, I wonder if it's these lights that need to be broken. Alright, if you can't break them individually, then maybe there's like a transformer box uh, that'll knock them all out. Let's follow the electricity. know 
where that goes. Maybe it is the lights over here then. I'm just gonna try to break everything even vaguely electrical. me, what am I supposed to do? Like, it goes down to here. Don't die. Don't die. This is annoying. I'm going to mouse and keyboard for this so I can actually aim properly. Break stuff! What needs to be broken? I can't use anything. All I can do, my only action is just fucking break stuff. Unless I can unequip. Can I unequip this axe? No, I have to use the axe. No, I don't. What is happening? <sighs> okay, so this, uh, this right here seems to be the solution. <gasps> Click. So, what happens in the quote-unquote real world, or whatever this version of reality is, affects what happens in the nightmare world, just as what happens in the nightmare world affects what happens in this world. Just like in the nightmare world, you knock down the door. You come back and the door is actually knocked down. So the position of the light switches affects whether the lights are actually on in the nightmare world, and that was the problem. But I got a couple problems with this. I have two big design problems with this that really annoy me. Okay. Sorry to mess up the pacing of the game with uh, a bit of design analysis, but the pacing of the game is already messed up, so what the heck. Problem number one. Um, well, first I should mention that messing around with the light switches is something that I of course considered. Of course I considered that after reading the note and realizing... I mean, reading, finding the note in the first place is annoying enough because you have to backtrack while being chased by the black goo to even find the note. And I previously had no reason to suspect that in the, in the nightmare world, notes are suddenly readable. So that alone is kind of silly, and I don't like that. But after reading the note and it mentioning that the hallway lights need to be kept on, of course I was thinking about the lights and ways to interact with them. Now the first thing I thought about is that because I'm in the nightmare world, I probably have to break them. Break the lights with the axe and maybe something happens. Which is disobeying the note, of course, because it says leave them on and I would be breaking them, but... Oh, what the heck? I knew I had to do something with the lights, and the only tool in my hands was the axe. So I tried that, and then I also got to thinking, hey, there's light switches everywhere. Maybe I need to mess with the light switches. And unfortunately, in the nightmare world, you can't do anything with the light switches whatsoever. You can't interact with them. So that alone, the fact that you can't interact with the light switches in the nightmare world caused me to completely not even consider the possibility of turning on or off the lights using the light switches, because it looked like I couldn't do anything with them. Because, you know, in the Nightmare World, why wouldn't you be able to use the light switches? I can walk around, I can carry an axe, I can break down a door with an axe, I can't reach out my hand and flick a light switch? That makes no sense. So the fact that I couldn't interact with the light switches in the Nightmare World made me think that the game is telling me you are not supposed to interact with that and you don't need to worry about that. So, that's one of the major problems with it. And the other is that the game made it seem like there was no way to even come back to the waking world. Because every time you die, every time you die, you come back right back to this position right here. When it reloads, you come back to here. You get like three seconds before the screen starts to go black. I mean, look, check it out. Let me die. Alright, kill me. Alright, so that's dying in the nightmare world, and then you come back right here. Wait a couple seconds. Character yawns, and then you go back into the nightmare world. I didn't even think you could even interact in the in the normal world anymore, because it seemed like the save point was from when you were too far gone, when you were already going to sleep. 
I didn't even consider the, f the possibility of being able to go back because the game made it seem like the save point was put too far forwards. It turns out you can by pressing a certain button. I don't remember which one. You can, you can stop that, stop going to sleep, and get back up in the normal world. But the save point makes it looks like makes it look like you can't do that because it's so close to when you fall asleep. I thought the game was cordoning me off and saying that you don't need to worry about the normal world. Worry about the nightmare world. The solution is somewhere in here, but it's not. The solution is in the normal world. Oh, I'm sorry. That is really, that's just really poorly designed. That's really annoying. That just wasted like 20 or 30 minutes of my time. And has taken me completely out of the game. Okay, well, I'm feeling kind of bitter and annoyed, so I think I should probably stop playing. Lest it poison the rest of the playthrough. <sighs> That's not a very good beginning. Ugh. So, the thing that first attracted me to this game is the graphics. Because I saw the screenshots and I thought, this just looks beautiful. And nothing about that's changed. It is. It is an incredibly good-looking game. The amount of detail that's been put into the environment is really insane. There's even all these little ridges all over the floor. All these separate scraps of, like, paper and tiles and... Uh, it's really, really amazing. It's incredibly beautiful. And the soundscape is really great. But it's definitely got some design problems. It definitely does. Well, I hope the puzzles don't get any more annoying. I mean, even even simple interactions, like just trying to... try out different passwords. I mean, if you're given a list of a bunch of passwords, and, like, they know you're gonna have to try them all, and you're not gonna know which one goes to which filing cabinet, right? So they know people are gonna be spending a lot of time trying out all these different combinations. But even the simple interaction of just messing around with the combinations is slow and frustrating. They only go one way, as far as I can tell. Using all the normal buttons, there's no way to go back, and there's no way to go fast. This is the fastest you can go. Yeah, no, none of the buttons on the controller allow me to go backwards. One way and very slow. Ah, That's weird. In such a sparse game, I'm really surprised more thought hasn't been put into the puzzles. It's very, very strange. Anyway, well, the uh, the strength of what I've seen so far, just with the environmental detail, is more than enough to keep me playing. At the moment, I'm not too interested in any sort of a story because I haven't really gotten much of a hint of it, but I just want to see more of this world. I just want to see more. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.